family and friends of Courtney Ross, the man who died in police custody last week, are demanding transparency from Memphis police in the investigation. Protesters met in front of MPD headquarters for answers today. Action News 5's Tavarius Haywood has details. We're not blaming no one. I want to know what happened. I need answers. A father making a plea to the Memphis Police Department asking what happened to his son, 19-year-old Courtney Ross. I'm praying every night that his soul would cry down to you guys. He was a citizen here. We love Memphis. I am Memphis. At a protest Friday, family and friends demanded one thing, the release of body and dash camera video surrounding the death of Ross. Please help me. We need answers. Ross died in police custody on August 11th. Police say people who live near Madison Avenue and South Auburndale Street reported a man going through boxes on someone's property before moving on and scoping out cars and looking in mailboxes. Police found Ross, but there was a foot chase. MPD says Ross resisted arrest, but he was eventually taken into custody. He was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now we don't know nothing. We about to, we out of our minds. We are at our minds because we don't know, and we want to know, and nobody giving us no answers. Nobody telling us nothing. Protesters say the only way to know the truth is releasing the cameras. You don't run him down. You talk to him. You see what's wrong with him. My boyfriend family had tried to kill me. You see what's wrong with him. They even shot my boy. That's all. Tavarius Haywood, Action News 5. The civil rights attorney Ben Crump is now representing the Ross family. The TBI is investigating this case now and says because it's an open investigation, no evidence can be released at this time.